Hello everyone, welcome to the Happy Resonance Chemistry. Now let us continue our lectures on biomolecules, especially carbohydrates. In previous case, we had discussed about uh, like many of the carbohydrate reactions and disaccharides, their properties like reducing and non-reducing character. In recent video, we are discussed like muta rotation, etc. Okay. Now in this session, we will discuss the like a chain elongation and the chain degradation of carbohydrates reactions. Chain elongation and the chain degradation of carbohydrate reaction. So generally, carbohydrates uh, are started with uh, like glucose, uh, like aldose or ketoses, whatever the uh, carbohydrate. So carbohydrate chain elongation or degradation process mainly. So the three reactions, chain elongation or degradation reactions. Okay. Now here chain elongation reactions and degradation reactions. So chain elongation reactions. So if uh, uh, if it is a glyceraldehyde is there. So glyceraldehyde we know that the formula glyceraldehyde get Raxel. So so here G. So G will gives the erythros and the 3Os. Okay. Now if chain is increased then it gives the like erythros and the 3Os. Okay. Either erythros or 3Os based on the like a stereogenic center position of the second position. Okay. Now here so elongation reactions the best reaction is Kiliani Fisher synthesis. Kiliani Fisher synthesis. Okay. Now degradation. If we select the erythros, so erythros will use the like a glyceraldehyde or 3Os will use the glyceraldehyde. That means one number of carbon which is uh, reduced, that is a fewer number of carbons are reduced, then those are called degradation reactions. So the best degradation reactions, uh, the first one is uh, like a rough degradation rough degradation method and the second one is whole degradation method whole degradation method so these three are the many very useful reactions which are helpful for this chain elongation as well as chain degradation reactions okay now let us discuss one by one so the first one is kiliani fisher synthesis Kiliani Fisher synthesis. Okay, so Kiliani Fisher synthesis will be used for the like chain elongation reactions. Okay, now let us take the like a glyceraldehyde. Whatever the compound doesn't matter. Here CH2OH, here HOH. This is the simplest carbohydrate that is glyceraldehyde. So when glyceraldehyde will treat it with a sodium cyanide in presence of HCl, these two are produces the HCl. Okay, these two are produces the HCl. Now here H plus and CN minus. CN minus is the nucleophile. So the nucleophile will attack over the like a sp2 carbon center sp2 carbon that means carbonyl or uh, sp2 carbon so sp2 carbon having the like a planar uh, planarity so that planarity sino sinoid nucleophile will attack over the either above the plane or below the plane so it produces two types of uh, isomers okay now if cyanide will attack over there okay now our convenient we will write the compound like this if cyanide will attack over the this position if oh can shift at the like a uh, right side or left side it gives the two types of isomers now here cyanide ch2oh here hoh it is common now again cyanide ch2oh here like a hoh these two are the common okay these two are the common now here it is the HOH right side OH H left side okay so if OH will shift it to right side then it is alpha like alpha alpha type that is erythros isomer if it is OH left side then it is a 3 O's isomer erythros and 3 O's so this is the first step of the reaction first step of the reaction now here then next step here cyanides will undergo the like uh, the hydrogenolysis that is in presence of H2 in palladium barium sulfate palladium barium sulfate that is a Lindros catalyst like a so here C triple bond N that is a cyanide so cyanides will undergo the hydrogenolysis reactions which gives them like imines now here hydrogen over here hydrogen over here one of the triple bond will becomes a double bond okay so that uh, uh, triple bond will becomes a double bond with the help of hydrogenolysis so that means addition of hydrogen on the cyanide okay now here HOH HOH like CH2OH. So in similarly, so here also H2 palladium barium sulfate. We will use the same type of imine. HOH. Here OH, H, HOH. CH2OH. 
CH2OH. Again, it, it undergoes the like hydrolysis reaction. So first of all, OH, H, again OH, H. Why I, I'll write the OH left side, uh, H right side. That means OH is negative part. So negative part attack over the like uh, positive electrophilic center and positive part attack over the uh, nucleophilic center. Okay, now here sorry oh oh plus ammonia okay so now here oh oh on h oh h oh ch two oh so this is the compound so we know that two hydroxyl groups and same carbon it is very very unstable species two hydroxyl groups and same carbon it is very very unstable species that's why so these are undergoes the like a dehydration reaction now here it undergoes the dehydration that means here oh minus and h plus both will be removed then it forms the c double bond o so then it forms this c double bond o so that is simply uh, can written as like c h o simply it is written as ch4 now here the number of carbon atoms is, is equal to the three one two three now here the number of carbon atoms is four one two three four so that means uh, the number of carbon atoms increased uh, that means uh, chain is elongated chain is elongated in similar way so it undergoes the hydrolysis reaction here it gives the like ch o o h h h o h CH2OH, CH2OH. So this is the another chain elongation product. Okay. Now we know that uh, our trick uh, that is a uh, get Traxel. Okay. AA, GM, GI, GT. Okay. So now if glycerol head or used the glycerol head can undergo the Kiliani Fischer synthesis, it produces erythrose and triose. Okay. Erythrose and triose. If erythrose will undergo the Kiliani Fischer synthesis, it gives ribose and arabinose. Ribose and arabinose. If ribose will undergo the Kiliani Fischer synthesis, it produces arabinose, allose and altrose. Allose and altrose. If uh, arabinose will undergo the Kiliani Fischer synthesis, will use the glucose and mannose. Okay. Now, if glycerol head will use the E and T, E and T that means uh, erythrose and triose. So erythrose and triose, we know that uh, like a linkage, epimeric linkage or anomeric relation. Okay. So now here C2 carbon is changed. That means uh, the orientation of H and OH at the uh, second position is changed. Then those type of uh, second position and uh, other than the first position, we know that other than the first position structural change is observed, then it is called epimers. Now here, so erythrose and triose are uh, C2 epimers. Erythrose and triose are C2 epimers. Okay, so Kiliani Fischer synthesis will use the like C2 epimeric product. Is it right or wrong? Okay, so now they are uh, they are susceptible to such type of questions. If Arabinos undergoing the Kiliani Fischer synthesis, it produces the like uh, a C2 epimer. What are the name of compounds? Okay, now those are uh, glucose and mannose. Okay, so if uh, xylose will undergo the like a uh, uh, Kiliani Fischer synthesis, will use the GI that means uh, glucose and iodose. Glucose and iodose both are the C2 epimers. In each and every case, we will observe only C2 epimers in uh, the product of the Kiliani Fischer synthesis. The product of the Kiliani Fischer synthesis. So this is the very simplest reaction of uh, Kiliani Fischer synthesis. Now I'll give you one question regarding to the Kiliani Fischer synthesis. Now here in this synthesis, it creates the new stereogenic center. New stereogenic center. Okay. Now they are given the like a D arabinose. Listen carefully. D arabinose. So we'll treat it with the first of all, first step will undergo the like NaCN, HCl. Now the second step, H2 palladium barium sulfate, palladium barium sulfate. In third step, it undergoes the hydrolysis reaction. That means H3O plus in presence of like acidic medium. Now what is the product? What are the major products? What are the major products? So we know that uh, the simplest representation Okay, here uh, G E T Raxel A A G M G A G T A A G M G A G T. So they are used in the arabinose. So arabinose will produce the glucose and the mannose. So D glucose and D mannose. D glucose and D mannose. This is a Kiliani Fischer synthesis product. Kiliani Fischer synthesis product. Don't forget about uh, this is a very simple trick. Okay, now let us go through the second method that is rough degradation method. Rough degradation method.
Okay, now let us discuss the second one that is rough degradation. Now we will go through the degradation method. That is a rough degradation method. Rough degradation. Okay, it is a very easier method. Uh, whenever we will reduce the, that means uh, we will reduce the one number of carbon of uh, carbohydrates. Uh, this is the best method. Okay, so now here, so this is the CHO, CH2OH. Okay, so R, we take the like glucose mighty. So it is very difficult to write the each and every step. That's why I'll take the glucose mighty as a simple uh, product. OH, sorry, HOH, OHH. -H. HOH, HOH. Okay, so this is the glucose mighty. Now these uh, these part uh, which is uh, assumed as R. Okay, so all these part that means the bottom three carbons and CHOH assumed as R. Okay, now this is the simplest representation of uh, glucose. HOH. Now here it is the R. So R indicates the bottom part of the glucose mighty, the bottom four carbons of the glucose mighty. Okay, now here it is treated with uh, like bromine water. We know that bromine water is a mild oxidizing agent. Okay, so in case of concentrated HNO3, it oxidizes the primary alcohol as well as aldehyde into corresponding carboxylic acid that is called glucaric acids that produces the glucaric acid. Now, in case of mild oxidizing agents, it produces only like a mono carboxylic acid derivatives that is gluconic acid derivatives. Okay, now aldonic acid derivatives. Now, here CHO can only convert into a COOH. Now, here the point. The top part of the CHO can convert into like a COOH. HOH. Now here it is R. Okay. So if we use the concentrated HNO3, so the bottom part of the CH2OH can also convert it into carboxylic acid. If a uh, aldo, uh, if any uh, like aldonic or aldohexoses can convert into dicarboxylic acid, those are called uh, aldoric acids. It can convert into monocarboxylic acid, then it is called aldonic acid. If glucose can convert into monocarboxylic acid, this is called gluconic acid. If it is converts into dicarboxylic acid, it is called uh, like a uh, glucaric acid. Glucaric acid. Okay. Now here it is the acid carboxylic acid here protein is acidic in nature here also protein is acidic in nature so the r part having the like several ohs okay here the all all ohs are the acidic in nature but carboxylic acid oh is a more acidic in nature carboxylic acid uh, proton is more acidic in nature so that proton will abstracted by the slight basis okay so if all are acidic in nature then we use the like simple basis like NaOH and KOH it abstract the all the protons okay now we don't need all the protons now here we required only carboxylic acid proton that's why we will take the CaCO3 that is calcium carbonate okay so this is the apparent group of like a Na2CO3 like a K2CO3 those type of compounds which are came from the like NaOH plus H2CO3 okay so this is strong strong base and weak acid strong base weak acid so here also came from the those type of link now here uh, like calcium dihydroxide and h2co3 this is the combination of weak acid and weak base so this is a slightly basic in nature not the complete basis okay not the strong uh, strong basic salt here it is the slightly basic salt slightly basic salt here it is the salt not the base okay so slightly basic salt will abstract the proton from carboxylic acid more acidic position only it cannot abstract the like a uh, slighter acidic positions okay so that's why here it gives the this type of a product c double bond o o minus here h o h r okay so this is the product so whenever we use it in like a uh, h2o2 followed by the Fe plus 3 H2O2 followed by the Fe plus 3. We used the, these reagent here. CO2 is eliminated, then here it converts the corresponding aldehyde. So, this is the product. This is the product. So, R is equal to n number of carbons are uh, in R, uh, number of carbons are 4. Here, R number of carbons are 4. So, 4 plus 1, 5 carbons. In this case, we will take the 4 plus 2, 6 carbons. 6 carbons can convert it into 4 carbons. Then it is called degradation method. Okay. Now, many of the students, they are worried about uh, these reagents. Now, I will explain those complete mechanism of the like H2O2 and the Fe plus 3 reaction. Okay. Now, here it is the C double bond O, O minus. Here, H, O, H, H, O, H. This is the R group. This is the R group. Whenever we use the like a uh, peroxide. So, this is the peroxide. H, O, H. H O O O H. Okay. So now this is the peroxide. So whenever the peroxides 
get a uh, get undergoes the like a uh, fission homolytic fission it produces the o radical o radical so that uh, one of the oh radical will abstract the hydrogen radical then it converts into o radical then it converts into o radical h o radical h c double bond o o minus c double bond o o minus okay now here minus means two electrons minus means two electrons why because here c o h and that is bonded to two electrons so that bonded to two electrons whenever proton will losses the in the form of h plus that means there is no electron it cannot uh, uh, deprotonated by the any any electron it cannot carries the any electron that's why these bonded two electrons will shift it towards the oxygen atom so that is called a negative charge that is called negative charge that indicates two electrons over there so here it presents the two electrons it presents the two electrons those two electrons can represented as minus charge okay whenever we use the like fe plus three fe plus three that is most oxidation state um, highest oxidation state of iron okay so now here it abstract the one electron from COO minus okay then it it uh, it forms the COO radical C O C double bond O, o radical now here it abstract the electron then it becomes the fe plus two of a plus two now here it creates the oxygen radical okay so this radical will undergoes the another fission okay so another adjacent fission then here it creates the oxygen radical carbon radical here carbon radical okay now here c radical radical plus oxygen radical carbon radical double bond o these two radicals will form the double bond then it is eliminated as co2 then it is eliminated as like a linear co2 okay now here carbon radical and oxygen radical here also it forms the double bond o then it forms this type of compound this type of compound so here it is the like a one number degradation product one number of carbon it is degraded okay so rough degradation means one of the highest number of carbons can convert it into lowest number of carbon atoms this is called a rough degradation method okay now let us uh, assumed some, some of the examples based on the uh, this uh, rough degradation method okay now let us assume we know that the, our trick that is a uh, get r a x l here a a g m g i g t okay so in previous case key and fisher synthesis we used the less number of carbon atom carbohydrate we get the like more number of carbohydrate pairs okay now here we will use the glucose now in the, in the form of like a uh, like a uh, rough degradation method that is a d glucose we will take the d glucose now here in the presence of a first step of bromine water okay first step is bromine water the second step is calcium carbonate the third step is not only calcium carbonate we use the like a slightly basic salts okay now the third step is iron plus three and in presence of h2o2 okay so these three reactions will produce the like a d arabinose d arabinose it cannot produce two types of isomer it produces only one isomer but here mannose also gives the same product d mannose can also gives the same product d arabinose in previous case so one of the isomer will, uh, will produces the like c2 epimeric pair c2 epimeric pair now here c2 epimeric pairs will pro will forms the like a lesser number of, that means a fewer uh, lesser number of the carbon atom corresponding carbohydrate okay now here glucose and mannose will use the arabinose ribose and arabinose will use the erythrose erythrose and thiose will use the glyceraldehyde okay these type of compounds these type of reactions we observed in rough degradation method now let us discuss the final degradation method that is old degradation method okay the final reaction i'll complete it within two to three minutes that, that is the whole degradation method whole degradation method okay now here uh, in previous case rough degradation we, which both are similar but reasons are different but reasons are different now we use the like a uh, six number of carbohydrates we will get the five number of carbohydrates we use the five member uh, five membered uh, carbohydrates we will get the like uh, aldo trio uh, tetrosis that means uh, pentosis will use the tetrosis tetrosis will use the triosis okay so that is the like a uh, very simple form of the degradation methods now here uh, let us assume the like glucose mighty in previous case also so let us assume that the bottom part of uh, the bottom part of the carbohydrates as R. So this is the 
H-O-H. This is the H-O-H. Now, let us, let us assume that these compounds. Now, which is treated with hydroxyl amine. Hydroxyl amine. So, here it is the carbonyl compound. Here it is the carbonyl compound. Here, hydrogen and water is eliminated. Now, it forms the C double bond N-O-H. We know that the functional groups of the compounds, H-O-H. So, here it is the R. So, we know that the functional groups of the compound. So, C double bond NH is called humine. C triple bond N is called nitriles or cyanides. C double bond NOH is called oxime. Now, here it forms the glucoxime. Here it is the oxime. Oxime derivatives. So, whenever oximes are undergoing the like dehydration reaction will produce the cyanides. Oximes will undergo in the dehydration reactions in presence of uh, anhydrides. So, anhydrides in corresponding salt of uh, acids, CH3COONA. Okay, CH3COONA. Here, yeah, the loss of water molecule will produce the cyanide. Will produce the cyanide. In previous case, we, we will get the like a cyanohydrin in the form of direct method. Now, here in two steps, we will get the cyanide. We will get the cyanide. These cyanides in presence of uh, like a sodium methoxide or sodium methoxide, we will get the our corresponding product of the aldehyde. Okay, our corresponding product of the aldehyde is cyanide is eliminated. Cyanide is eliminated. So this is the product. Okay, if R is substituted by the our groups here OH, H, 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 O, H, H, O, H, H, O, H. This is the five number of carbon atoms. Now here one, two, three, four, five, six number of carbon atoms will convert it into one, two, three, four, five number of carbon atoms. Not here H, here it is the CH2, O, H. So that means a uh, higher number of carbohydrates will convert it into lower number of carbohydrates. Then it is called degradation method. So now we, we, uh, discussed the two types of degradation method one is rough degradation and the whole degradation methods whole degradation method in kilian fisher synthesis a, a compound a carbohydrate will give the c2 epimeric pair now here is c2 epimeric pairs will produce the same carbohydrate with a one less number of carbon atom with one less number of carbon atom so that's all for this video this is the very useful method for the like csar jam as well as je advanced and neat students okay thank you so much for watching